folks. We're going to be talking about the Speed Coat by Rockler today and what advantages and disadvantages it has and how it helps. God dang it. Cut, 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 cut. I'm going to use my notes. In the intro today, how to get a fast and accurate cope in crown molding and baseboards. That's what you want to do. You want to be accurate and fast. Whether you're a weekend DIYer or a seasoned pro, I hope that both sides be uh, not cut, 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 cut. So, uh, my first cope out of the box was super fast, super easy, and super accurate. So, let's see here. Best fit, hands down. You're not going to get a better fit. If you cope it right, install it correctly, best fit, hands down. Um, let's see here. Cut, 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 cut. Well, this is a standard uh, 45 and 45 inside corner. And when we put these two together, providing that we have a perfect scenario situation, meaning that the inside corner is exactly 90 degrees on the angle, you get a good result. Let's just say the inside corner is at 96 degrees and we cut this at 90. What's going to happen is this thing's going to open up like this. It's not going to fit or it's going to open up the other way. And even if you do a perfect job, you read the angles, you do everything perfect, you run the potential with uh, con contraction and expansion due to uh, changing conditions in the home and outside, the joint, which was perfect, can still open up. It can still open up like this. It can still open up like that. So when we look at the cope joint, we look at it in a whole different light. You have this piece, which is butt cut, this butt cut goes into the corner. I don't have to worry about the angle and I don't have to do anything with this corner. I don't have to cut it at all. Behind this piece is where the coat piece comes into play. It would help if I turn it right side up or in the correct orientation. So you wind up getting a nice tight fit. I may not be holding it perfect, but something like that. And you see on the back side, we've got the back end or the tail, the butt joint protruding through, which means if the wall angle is not exactly 90, where it's over under, this piece will rotate to some degree. So that's in way past 90. This coped area, when it fits into this groove or the grooves in the crown, the matching grooves, it locks it. So it's very, very tight. Um, and allows you to know that when you leave that home or that job site, years to come, you're not going to have any spreading, opening, or closing with uh, the temperatures, and you know that joint is nice and locked in. So this is where the magic begins. We've got a square piece, standard square piece of crown molding. This is five and a half inch crown on a 45 degree spring. I've adjusted my uh, miter saw to 30 degrees bevel. And then a 35.3 degree uh, miter. And we cut everything flat. You can boo and hiss all you want, and that's fine. There's a big discussion on cutting flat or cutting in the nested position and all that. I just found this way uh, e easier, and uh, with this large fence, easier to control. So let me go ahead and make that cut. Yeah, and the coping process uh, is once we make our miter, we want to trim this off this way so this tip is gone. This is going to help us uh, butt the crown molding up into position uh, in, on the ceiling and the wall. And um, let's go ahead and do that. All right, folks, this is my favorite tool, my current favorite tool. I can see my wife rolling her eyes as I say that. I have a lot of favorite tools. So essentially, this is the uh, speed cope. It's fully adjustable, allows for uh, inside uh, corners left and right. So I'm just going to adjust it with this left-hand cope that we cut a moment ago. Tighten it down. 
By the way, I have a little magic marker that I marked on this rail so I know when I'm at the correct angle. Also, this front tilts down and up to give you the amount of back cut that you desire. Um, I currently have this one set on 50 degrees uh, bevel or angle, and it seems to work great for what we do. So typically, um, I'll just place it in, line it up, and then I'll clamp. There's really no clamping support on this thing. And if you get a, a piece that's cupped or, or bowed a little bit, you need to for sure clamp it down. And I'll do that right now. Clamp that. You do, uh, this comes with a clamp and it's useful, but it's not gonna solve all your clamping issues to hold this tight. All right, we've got the cope, or the uh, crown piece, I should say, in the speed cope. It's clamped down, angle set, bevel set. And so we're gonna start out by um, coping this part and this part and then just work our way back across the, uh, the edge. This will be a live shot, uncut, to show you there's no trickery involved. joint you might want to clean a little bit of that up with sandpaper but uh, overall it's a really good joint and show you what it looks like so that's a pretty darn good cope joint there just cope it be done install